Uh, Los Angeles Rams on the road at the Seattle Seahawks. This is one in favor of the Rams on the road. 47.5 to 48 is our total here in this one. And I want to read the exact quote because I did at least pull this one before we got going because this came out before we started recording, Mo. So Sean McVay on Puka Nakua's knee. Fortunately, there's nothing structurally wrong. He'll be listed as questionable, but I wouldn't bet against this guy. My expectation is he's going to do everything in his power to be ready to roll, and that's the mindset we have. If you guys weren't following this, Puka Nakua left practice because of the same knee that kept him out for four weeks, and uh, now they're saying that he is that he's. Actually, he didn't say he's going to go. He is optimistic that he will give it a try. <laughs> I mean, like, what the hell does that even mean? I'm optimistic that he will do everything that he can do, Mo. Well, yeah, I would like to think so. I'd like to think that he will try to do everything he can do. Well, I was amazed what happened last week. I mean, yeah. they're acting like he's on the border of even playing, and he looks like a superstar. So, It certainly took me by surprise because I had the other side of that, like thinking there was no way. With the 10-day break, I was like, they're going to wait the 10 days and then they'll, and then they'll bring him back. And it's like, instead we get the no Hawkinson and the whatever, the side and the other, but yeah, I like, I know he looked like an all-star out there. Yeah. And I kind of leaned Vikings too. I'm glad I didn't pull yeah. the trigger on that one. Everyone loved the Rams last week and, and basically they covered for everyone. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of why this is my contrarian special of the week, man. Mm-hmm. I, I took the Seahawks, uh, yeah. At home here, uh, getting points, which I don't think is right. I feel like these two teams are just very evenly matched. So I don't think the Seahawks should be getting points at home here. I, I don't they have a better quarterback too? Like Geno Smith has been better than Matt Stafford this year. I think so. Yeah, certainly a quarterback I trust more under pressure. So we'll see if Seattle can get any of that. I'm just terrified this run defense is going to get absolutely trucked by a very very good rams rushing attack um but even still that kind of plays into it. like if you're facing the rams wouldn't you rather they just pound the rock than than throw the ball to, to puka and cooper cup it seems like are we are we at all are, are we believing mcdonald that dk metcalf is is going to play or are we just are we just saying is this just coach speak stuff that's going on Man, I hope not because that's kind of that was playing into why I, I took the yeah. Seahawks too. When he's practicing, I'm just like, okay, I, I'm guessing he's gonna go. This guy is a cyborg apparently, so uh, maybe he can do it. Um, yeah, do I want to fade Matt Stafford? Not really, but yeah. still, it's outside and, and it just you know. That, it could be again rainy. It looks I mean, every, like every game has rain in the forecast this week. So uh, I don't know honestly which side that plays into here, but the Seahawks. I just so like this is just classic stock high, stock low. Where the the Rams just basically trounced the Vikings last week. Yeah, and then on the other side you have a Seattle team that just literally tripped over themselves uh, against the Bills. Like literally. On fourth and one, Geno Smith just falls down over a lineman's foot and then is like hitting the ball in frustration instead of scrambling back up in the middle of the play, you know? Yeah. I mean, they they found a way to get to the five twice and scored three points between that and snapping it 20, 20 yards backwards. So they played one of the worst games, if not the worst, that they're going to play all season. So I'm just going to try to buy the bounce back here at home. Yeah, if... If DK Metcalf goes, I would be leaning towards the Seahawks. If he doesn't, I think it'd just be a pass for me because it did look a little wonky at times without him out there. He just adds so much of a different dynamic to because, like you know, obviously Lockett is 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 half washed, if not fully washed at this point, and so like he just adds such an incredible dynamic to the team. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm going to wait. We're doing this. Those are two West Coast teams. We don't have official practice reports yet, all of that. So that's the disclaimer in all of that. If DK goes, I probably will be on the Seahawks. If he doesn't, it'll probably just be a pass for me there on that one. 